What is good friends, we are here, this is the ulti ladder, I'm gonna spectate high ladder games. Um, it's kinda hard to find a lot of high ladder games, a lot of people hide their games. But I will pause it in between games and make sure I'll find some cool high ladder games for you guys. I'm also gonna talk about the ulti ladder in general, what I've seen people use so far on the ladder. And in the comments I will leave a screenshot with like five or six teams that I've either stolen or that people passed me and that have done quite well on the ulti ladder. And then you guys can let me know in the comments or vote on Twitter. I'm gonna make a poll which team you wanna see and I'll uh, use it in the video. So that's definitely cool. I'm not sure how I'm gonna call that series yet. Maybe ulti thief, ulti teams or like something like that. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure exactly. If you have a good name idea for that, you can also let me know. But yeah, pretty much the top 8 qualify for ulti uh, every cycle. There's 4 cycles, you guys know how this works, right? And the deadline for the cycle is tomorrow. I think it's in 28 hours, something like that, I'm not exactly sure. And last year I recorded like the last minutes of the cycle. I'm gonna try to do that again, record the end of the cycle. But this time it's just gonna be a bit... Probably not as interesting because most people hide their games. But I will still record the la um, record that and like update every two minutes, refresh this every two minutes to see how the top eight change. And if the highlighter people here in this range, uh, in this high range, hide their games, then I can still record uh, games from like 1900s maybe tomorrow um, around deadline time. So it should be cool. Uh, there's another game I'm spectating here in the back between White Queen and Raptor. I'm really not a fan of this game. So I'm gonna click off that real quick. Thankfully I found this game which is going faster. But yeah, I'm gonna talk about what I have seen people use so far. Um, a lot of people have success with webs. You can see different versions of webs. You see, you can see pins and webs a little bit. Um, I've seen high use pins and webs and then um, my man T suggested it also to Ultra Balls and then Ultra Balls made a cool pins and webs team that did quite well for him. But I think he stopped using it. And um, then there's a webs team running around with Superior, Ash, Greninja. Um, with Megiana at Paint Split. I think that's specifically to deal with Stall. But yeah, basically, you guys can see, um, Com made it now 1948. And I'm gonna show uh, Refresh here. I mean, he's quite off a little bit. He needs more points. But yeah, uh, I'm rooting for my friends mainly in this. I will potentially do a later cycle. I haven't done it yet. Uh, so, uh, I hope Curry qualifies. Uh, who else? <coughs> Tricking uh, has used Rain quite a bit. Like, Tricking, actually, I uh, gotta give him props. Have seen him use like th maybe 5 6 different teams, but hasn't used Stall much at all. Still has 90 GXE. And the other day, like 2 days ago, I think, he had 93 GXE, and like, that's crazy. And he was like number 1, I think, too. Um, but yeah, where, where are my guys from my chat that I'm rooting for? So here, JYT, uh, Snyder here, number 12, Ultra Balls has to be, he's in, he's in the 1900s. Oh yeah, Rob Jr. here, really cool dude, hope he qualifies last year, I think he almost qualified. Uh, somewhere here, there has to be the other people, I think two of them tilted, I think Hooza tilted, okay, here's Ultra Balls. And there's Hooza and Kid of Death, they were high on ladder, but I think they dropped points, I'm not sure. But yeah, basically, I'm gonna pause it and be back when I find another high ladder match. Okay, this is a cool match because we got um, two people I'm rooting for here. Uh, Rob using Rain and Cory using... This is a team, I think, a uh, French team, right? This was used quite a lot. Like, Cory used th this team quite a lot, but I think he used uh, Zygarde over Uniclus. I'm not sure if this is the exact same team with just Zygarde over Uniclus or if the sets are different. The Greninja seems to be the same set. T-Spikes, HP Fire, Hydro Pump and I think the last move is Extra Sensory Z-Move. Um, it's really cool to um, bop Toxapex if you um, go for it on the right turn. And on Rob's team, um, I think either the Kartana or the Gengar is Scarf. I think that Katana is Scarf. That knockoff didn't do too much to the Heatran so it's not banned most likely. So like he only has one Swift some user so Katana being Scarf makes a lot of sense on this team. Um, I've seen Rob use... Yeah, I've seen, you, I've seen him use Rain the other day uh, with, I think, Lele over Gengar. 
and I've also seen him use uh, what's it called like some cool teams he was using a team with Toxic Spikes, Ple Pex plus Sub DD Zygarde and Curse Scissor. Curse Scissor is really fire on ladder. Beats some Veil teams on its own, even though Veil is not really that common. From what I've seen at least, I haven't laddered myself so I can't say too too much. But I've followed people around quite a lot. So is it the Extra Sensory? Oh, he changed it to Hydro Vortex, okay. So maybe this is a different team, I'm really not sure. But yeah, Cory has a team where it's like... Um, yeah, I'm not gonna go into the detail about the sets. That's also a team that is gonna be in the description on the screenshot, and then you guys can vote which team you want me to use in a, in a, in a live, basically. But yeah, knockoff is probably a role to kill the Torn, or maybe it's a, it was a guaranteed kill. Rob just went for it. And he's obviously forced out here by the Heatran. And this might be Protect Heatran on the team that I was thinking. Yeah, exactly, that Cory used. He uses Protect. Magma Storm Trend with rocks. I think the last move is Toxic. So Greninja is gonna die to poison here. So we got two Greninjas going down. Gets the Ash but goes down to poison. And Cory should win this game. Um, if he has Heat Wave, he can go for that. But I assume the last move. Yeah, it's Hurricane, obviously. Knock off Defog, U turn Hurricane. Scarf, Smart Strike doesn't kill. And he misses. But that doesn't matter because Heatran can obviously wall Smart Strike and Gastron also walls it. Uh, Heatran, yeah. Basically, it's over. He couldn't lock into a move that could beat all the mons, uh, even though he dodged a Hurricane. So, where does that put Cory on the ladder? That, oh, that was Cory's main, not Cory's ulti, all my bad. But yeah, Rob Jr., uh, Rob drops a few points. He's 1962. He's not that. Actually, he is kind of far off. Never mind. I thought that this was 2050, but it's 2150. Um, I'm thinking that top 8, this will go higher, you will, this will probably go to like 2170 or something, number 8 is what I'm thinking, maybe a bit higher even. And a lot of people will go up there, it will be crazy, the ladder from now on the, the next like 28 hours or whatever, it's gonna be super wild. Okay, we got Rob Jr. versus Hayburner now. I think this is a sample team that Eternum made on Hay's side, uh, Mega Zam. I think it's Z move Greninja with uh, Z low kick to um, lure in Chansey. Then Scarf Magnezone, Command Rocks, Clef, and Stealth Rock, uh, not Stealth Rock, SD Gliss score <laughs> as a win condition. Okay, he got crit there. Is that Specs Gengar? That Shadow Ball did a lot. Even though it was a crit, I think that might be Specs Gengar. It's doing quite a lot of damage. And since the we know the Kartana is Scarf because it outsped the Tornadoes and from the damage it did. So yeah, Gengas, if it's not Z-Move, it's definitely Specs. Um, yeah, I already recorded. Yeah, it is still all out pummeling. Um, this team is on samples, so Rob probably knows all the sets. But yeah, really good scout there going Pelipper. Uh, Pelipper can go for U-Turn or Roost here. I assume we see maybe a U-Turn. Oh, he goes for Scald, okay. Doesn't get a burn on the Ferrothon, so uh, he can Leech Seed here, trying to get his Ferrothon back healthy. Protect Leech Seed is cool on Ferrothon because it helps you not get trapped that easy um, by Magnezon. Also, Alakazam is really cool, can potentially reverse trap um, opposing Magnezones because it can trace Magnet Pull and then Focus Blast. You still, yeah, I mean, you still have to hit a Focus Blast. But yeah, um, Shadow Ball is super. Like, a lot of teams don't have good Ghost Resist, is what I was trying to say. So Shadow Ball is super free versus this type of team. Greninja is the only Ghost Resist, and it, as you guys could see earlier, it didn't take Shadow Ball well at all. Because Greninja is frail. But yeah, basically I recorded like 70 minutes of following people on that around earlier. It was quite a cool video. And yeah, my audio got messed up, so now I just... I'm gonna make this one a bit shorter, like maybe 40 minutes. But yeah, earlier tricking was laddering, it was really fun to watch, he, and yeah, he, as you guys could see, he's super high up. And that was quite annoying to me that I lost, um, yeah, that I can't use that footage. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, I think, like, the Pharaoh is almost dead, and Rob is in a good position. Like, Swampert, I know Alakazam can trace Swift to him, but Swampert is, like, still a big threat for Hayes' team, and so is Gengar. So Shadow Ball gonna claim a kill here. Shadow Wave was still a better play than Sludge Wave in my opinion. If you clicked Sludge Wave, the Pharaoh or the Zone could have came in next turn for free after the Clef went down. Well, I guess this forced the Zam in. 
But yeah, he basically going for Shadow Ball instead of Sludge Raving um, prevented him going hard into the steals for free. So Kartana can force this out uh, with a knockoff, I thought Sacred. Like, the reason why I thought he might Sacred Thought is because he doesn't want to get trapped by Magnezone. Uh, and it's obvious that Alakazam is not going to stay in there. So Sacred Thought was an option, but knockoff is also okay because with the attack boost, Magnezone might actually die to this. With the attack boost, okay, it doesn't die. So T Bolt or HP Fire, okay. I was gonna say maybe T Bolt there because I think T Bolt would have killed the Kartana as well. But yeah, HP Fire obviously kills as well even though the rain is up. So Greninja gets his Ash here. And Alakazam can force it out. With a Focus Blast. Oh yeah, the rain also ended, so he's not gonna have Swift Swim on his Pert. Like his Pert is gonna be slower than these two. I think he has to switch here. I think, I think you sack the Gengar here and then you come in with the Swampert. And you click off quick and you get a kill pretty much, right? That's, I think, the correct play. Or am I missing something? Yeah, I mean, you have to sack one of these two and then come in with Swampert. Basically, exactly, he does sack Gengar too. Uh, does he focus blast? I mean, Shadow Ball is going to kill Gengar next turn if this has Shadow Ball. Because it's definitely not Scarf Gengar. So yeah, Psychic obviously, what am I saying? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking Shadow Ball because yeah, Gengar is a ghost, but obviously Psychic is also super effective. So now Swampert can just click off quick, pick this one off. I mean, I didn't want to talk too too much about the games. I was, I was I just wanted to talk about ulti in general. But this one seems to be a shorter game, so it's, I'm fine talking about it. If you find like a longer game, um, then I'm just going to talk about either the meta game or like ulti. We'll see. Oh yeah, he's disabled. Psychic like got disabled, right? Did it? Yeah. So he clicked Focus Blast instead. And... I think Ash Greninja wins this game for Rob, because this Greninja should be in Dark Pulse range. So uh, Swampert is gonna get sacked off here, and then he can come in with Greninja and click Dark Pulse and win the game, because this is confirmed. Z-Move and not Choice Scarf. So Ash Ninja is obviously faster than this. Uh, Protein Ninja. But... Um, I mean, there might have been some hacks, he's a bit mad, um, this happens, yeah, like, people get really mad on the ladder, because when they're like, ulti is frustrating, you play a lot of games, and if you get hacks a bit, you drop quite a good amount of points, um, then you can get tilted and you can eventually start misplaying, can be really frustrating to deal with, one of the reasons why, I, why I'm not laddering much for this. But yeah, Rob's getting there slowly but surely. I mean, he got his points just back from the last loss, kind of. He probably didn't even get them all back. But yeah, I'm gonna pause it, change up the music, and see if I can find some interesting games to spectate. Okay, this guy has wild offense and he's high on the ladder, so this is definitely uh, gonna be fun to watch. So it's Protect Mega DNC. Uh, I think one of these two is Choice Scarf, but I don't remember which one is the Scarfer. Because I remember the Lily not being Specs from... Okay, what the fuck, that is Specs. That did so much. <laughs> I thought it wasn't Specs when I was watching this guy earlier, but that definitely is Joy Specs. That did 63 in Misty Terrain. But it is, this is really cool. He has Talonflame with SD Roost, Flame Charge, Brave Bird, Sky Strike, Talonflame. It's like an interesting type of offense. But yeah, other teams that this guy uses, like Volcarona Stall, you see Volcarona Stall quite a lot. I think this account made it and then um, some people stole it and or he passed it around. It's like Volcarona, Glisk or Skarmory. Uh, there's also a version with Landris. It's like Semi Stall, it's like Spex Lele, Volcarona, Skarm, Chansey, Pex, and then yeah, either Land or Glisk in the last slot. Team's quite weak to Zygarde actually. But yeah, like I'm just talking about the, the teams in general that people use on the ladder. Other teams that uh, this guy has used, he has used the Mega Mobile Balance type of team, bulky offense, with like a defensive core of Bulupax Tren. Like I'm not sure if the Tren was spit death or uh, offensive, but Bulupax Tren was on a team Mega Mobile with all four attacks, all out attacking punches. Mobile is really cool. Uh, he actually had fire, uh, had sucker punch instead of fire thing though. And I think it had Iron Head instead of Player of, and what what else? It had the team also had the Tornadoes to help with Kartana matchup, because obviously if you have a Budo, you give Kartana terrain, so Kartana becomes a huge threat. And what else did he have? I think he had a Z move Zygarde as well on that team. 
Oh yeah, this Megina, he seems to have changed his team around. I thought this would be setup Megina, but it's AV, I guess. I mean, it makes sense. Like, this team literally doesn't have Ash Greninja answers otherwise. So this is AV, okay. Yeah, I think he changed it around. The Lily was not specs from what I remember earlier. And now it's definitely specs from the damage it did to the Finny. So he glares, predicting the Heatran to come out. This guy just U-turns, doesn't care about the potential Leaf Storm that the Landers would have taken. And now... Heatran should come out, right? Like, he doesn't really have... Like, nothing wants to take Leaf Storm. And I don't know if the Coco can kill the Serp from this range, so yeah, Heatran makes the most sense. So Heatran has Glare as well, um, crippling it, potentially giving... Talonflame free setup on this later on. But yeah, obviously, they always sack Drill to spin. I think this is a German ult, some... Like, people always join this guy's games, and they talked German in his games before. And I think he also talked German once. But they like, re they use, this all they use really cool teams. I hope they don't get banned, which I'm fearing they can't, they will get banned. So, Skystrike is gonna send this boy, it doesn't kill, but it does a lot. Okay, that does less than I expected. So, this is probably max HP trend for sure. I think it's Spadef trend. I faced this Adele, Ad Adel guy or however you say it. I faced this guy like months ago on my road to top 10. I remember like everything. I remember he had Garchomp over Tita and he had Mawile over Medichem <laughs> and the other four months were the same. He even, yeah, he kept this exact sets. He was Helmet Land. So SD on the Para there, um, Glare Strap showing why Para is broken. Allowing Talonflame to kill that Landorus and this is in fake out range, so he obviously wants to switch out. He goes hard into Lele, predicting a fake out. He made the same play earlier when I was watching. I also recorded a game like that. Like, this guy uh, likes to play aggressive. Uh, definitely fun to watch. Uh, but, yeah, he just dies anyway to Ice Punch. Yeah, earlier, I think his Lele was Scarf when he did that. And he could have actually... He could threaten out the Medicham. But, yeah, obviously now he couldn't do that. Like, it was just a sack, but it still looked cool. <laughs> I just, for some reason, I thought he was um, still Scarf Lady, but he changed it back. Maybe I'm mixing up, but I was, I'm relatively sure he was Scarf earlier on this. So, this might be Bullet Punch, like, people use that randomly on the ladder, but on that doesn't matter because Terrain is up at the moment. So, Moonblast slash... Yeah, I mean, he's just gonna Moonblast here, he has no reason to click anything else. Because if Heatran comes out, he can just click Diamond Storm the next turn. Okay, he clicks Diamond Storm now. I, th I feel like Moonblast was fine. Clicks Diamond Storm. Doesn't, I guess it doesn't make a huge difference. Protect. So, I, I don't think U-turn killed. Why did you do that? Are you Choice Scarf into that? Or why did he do that? He should have clicked Electric Move to kill this. I mean, he, he wanted to break the drill, obviously. But, like... Yeah, he just wanted to break the drill aggressively, uh, or he was choiced into that. But yeah, Moonblast is probably gonna come out because you don't want to risk missing, and now Diamond Storm kills the Heatran, obviously, from this range. And yeah, this guy is. R Last time I checked, he was like really high on ladder, so we're gonna check again after his game how high he is then. Yeah, he should definitely win this game, I feel. Tita comes out, it's gonna take the Diamond Storm to the face, and that's a 2-hit KO, but Moonblast can also just kill this, I think, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I mean, the only way Tita would live a Moonblast if it's like AV Max, but death maybe from that range, I don't know. Protect to block... F it is Bullet Punch, yeah. So... Protect would have blocked Fake Out. That is the thing I talked about earlier when I recorded, um... I think I recorded a game from this guy versus some ulti guy. I talked about... Um, yeah, like laddering and friends, right? So I ladder with my friend T sometimes, and one of us always says, oh, what if he's that set, that tech, and then we scout for it, and it always works out. So like once I talked about Bullet Punch and Medicham, or my friend did, and then we scouted for it, and because our taunt was in Bullet Punch range or something, and worked out perfectly. Then there was another game where the guy had like Zard Y plus Greninja, where I'm like, oh yeah, yeah you want to scout here, you want to scout, you don't want to stay in with your packs here, what if he's Z Dick Greninja? And that boy went for Z-Dick as we go Landris. Uh, obviously, the opponent could have predicted that, but we figured he wouldn't. Um, if we would rematch, there would obviously be like some big... There would be some big mind games going on. 
But yeah, like... I mean, he's busy, he's gonna do cycle 2, hopefully. Mm. Um, I'm not sure if Finny can level off quick, actually. If it's just max HP, it might... It might be a roll. If it has some fist death investment, then it can definitely level off quick. But yeah, Coco gonna go down here. To Volt Switch. And now, um... Yeah, Scarf Drill should be able to just win this game. After Rocks, the Finny definitely dies to Earthquake and Medicham also dies. Easily dies. Medicham is like not that bulky and Excadrill is a really strong mon. He doesn't want to do that. What? Why didn't he just Earthquake and sweep? Am I missing something? I guess he's playing it extra safe in case this is max defense. So he's going Megiana first, clicking Volt Switch I guess. Yeah, he's clicking Volt Switch because he's slower so... And even if the Fini switches out, it has to take rocks, which means it's guaranteed an earthquake range if it wasn't before. I think it already was in range. But yeah, earthquake should just win here. Bob. Like, I don't know why he switched out. He just wanted to make sure if the Fini is like super bulky. Like, I'm gonna cut this real quick. I feel like earthquake from x should do like 40. Plus, at least. If the, if the Finny is just max HP at this 43 to 51. But yeah, if it has defense investment, um, maybe it would not have been in range. But I think it was in range. He was just playing it safe. Okay. So, anyone else? What? Anyone else interesting? Laddering? Yeah, I was just going to check this guy's rank. So, yeah, he's 2150. Tied with Empo for number one. Whew. Okay, we will watch one more game. I'll keep this video shorter because like I keep pausing it and I just can't find high ladder games they're all hidden but yeah comp qualified last uh, last year for OT he's using offense so this mega pincer obviously um, Megina could be AV but it doesn't have to be like AV just makes sense in my opinion because this team is weak to Ashgren otherwise like offense in general is weak to Ashgren Zagat could be either the berry or weakness policy. Uh, probably Sash Lando. Um, yeah, like lead Lando with rocks. So Megiana here, uh, obviously the opponent has to scout there for the electric move, either t or Volt Switch. Depending on if it's shift gear or AV, it could definitely have t -ball. No matter what, Focus Blast, it's predicting the potential Swampert turn 1, missed, which sucked. And he Fleur Cannon here, uh, predicting a switch maybe into Landris, and, or what? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe he predicted him to predict... No, he predicted him to go Landris earlier. Yeah, exactly, and now he goes Landris on the Volt and he gets it right. Gets them up. This is definitely Sash. So you could see an explosion from the Landris here, or we could. Like the Megina is not a. I don't think it's AV because it showed Focus Blast. So I assume he's just gonna boom here, right? Yup. So this Manaphy, is it lefties or Z move? I guess it's Z move. No lefties. Surf. Is it Ash? Oh, cool. He gets his Ash from here. Surf so he doesn't miss Pump. And. Pert is gonna click Earthquake here because there's like no ground resist. So yeah, Earthquake is free. Kinda has to pick well I'm pins as a ground resist, but like it's not a great one. If Earthquake doesn't kill this in one go, then I am um, waterfall might actually be the better play, but I still think he's gonna click Earthquake. Get some up, okay, get some up. Let's gonna click frustration here as Thrash. Okay, buddy. Thrash gonna tweet Kyoto's McGee. Well, it's a roll, I guess. Pelipper. Pelipper gonna get died to this. Hello? It's a Thrash. Yup. <laughs> so, Pert gonna click waterfall slash quake waterfall. Pinsa eats and molests that boy. 
So now he can quick attack here, uh, hoping to not hit himself, but he hits himself. Greninja gonna click Shuriken here. He doesn't have a switch in, because in the rain Katana does... Like, Katana has piss push to death. Especially in rain it would get destroyed by Shuriken. Um, yeah, I think... Oh, yeah. Why did this guy say just testing? I think Comp's the other guy, what? He didn't talk to you. But yeah, Comp won this and I think he's like 1880, 1868. He was like way higher earlier, but yeah, let's update let's check what's popping at the moment. Eternal Spirit just made a top eight, so he has been laddering probably. I didn't see that game. Just don't hide your games, people. I wanna watch. Okay, Rob's playing. I'll watch this game for sure. And yeah, we might. I might just end it after this because I'm not really finding any other cool games to spectate. Yeah, the East people like Rob was on East. He won World Cup. They use Reunicles a lot these days. Um, yeah, it's like usually Acid Armor on this type of team with Toxic Spikes, Toxapex. So um, Toxic Spikes hit Dark types like Tita and Greninja, so it doesn't matter that your Reuniclus only has like Psyshock or Psychic. Yeah, I see them. I've seen them use Psychic. Uh, Psychic can hit Halucha harder if Halucha is usually like Halucha is usually paired with Coco, which gives it a Fizz Death boost uh, with the Electric Seed. So Psychic can um, do more damage to Halucha than Psyshock, obviously. I don't know if it Oko's. I think it comes close to Okoing Psychic. But there's also some teams, some rain teams I've seen on ladder, where it's, um, with um, Tapu Lele plus Halucha, so that would give them a spadef boost, and then Sashok would be better again versus Halucha. And you got a freeze there, um, it's annoying. Pivots into Landris, but you can just Ice Fang again here. Yep, and Landris dies. Uh, that crit matter? I don't know. Maybe might have left the belly. But let's see, Acid Armor, yep. He has the T-Spike up, so Greninja cannot wall this. And also this is uh, probably Scarf Grand. Well, I actually know this team, but... This team, right, but... I don't know if I'm allowed to reveal all the sets, so I'm not gonna get into that. Oh, people from... People I know are watching this. <laughs> I mean, I know both these guys, so it's gonna be cool to watch, but... Um, yeah, he switches out there because this is... Most likely stored power Lari, and... I mean... Reuniclus loses to that 1v1, I think, right? But uh, he doesn't have his T-Spike up, so this... Tita obviously walls the Lari at the moment. And... Tita can probably eat off quick, but yeah, he doesn't want to risk anything. So, does he just asset armor up, or what does he do? He, o he always goes Lari on this, because stored power beats this uh, unit class. But yeah, Rob can always go Tita, but the rocks chip down the Tita, which is cool. Um, wonder I wonder if this has fire punch, this Tita? Uh, I should have hovered over it to see what it used so far, my bad. But yeah, I think Tita was the rocker and Land was probably Scarf. And yeah, Cheaton is Z-move. So this could be double fire move, like double fire. Um, so like Magma Storm, Lava Plume, Earth Power, Taunt maybe. That's what um, I've seen, yeah exactly, that's what I've seen Rob use or people from East. Lava Plume plus Magma Storm, double fire. Let's see move. Oh, Ricardo also used that set, right? But yeah, one of the teams that uh, will be in the description and on my Twitter poll is also going to be a team that Rob made. You guys can vote which you want me to use. Did he double predict in the tar? No. That, I, this doesn't have Pursuit, right? Does it? It does have Pursuit. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> Goodbye. I wasn't sure if, if it already had Crunch. Um, that was cool.
If Rob, if Rob keeps playing, I'll follow him around because he's he's a cool guy to like. He's cool to watch, and he uses different teams. You could see earlier in the video he was using Rain. Now he's using this. Like this is a team I would use. I like it. <laughs> I mean, I said I'm a Reno because it's kind of nasty with T spikes. It's not something you want to face. Uh, well, unless you have a Mega Mobile. Mega Mobile is super threatening for this type of team. Like Tren is a, Tren is a decent check, but like with Rocks up, T Punch does a lot to Tren on a switch or T Punch slash knockoff. Focus Punch is even obviously better to Bob Tren on the switch, but even this T Punch or knockoff does quite a good chunk Tren on the switch. And yeah, Landris can take play rough slash ice punch. Like it can maybe take one play rough, but not well. And after that, it's super low. Especially if it's a max attack Landris. Some people started running that again, or like a lot of people, um, like offensive Landris. You you want to run offensive Landris these days because Stone Edge has a chance to kill tornadoes. I don't remember if it was from full or if you need a little bit or if you need a little bit of chip. But Stone Edge can do a lot to max HP torn um, if you run max attack on your. Only Landris. But yeah, Rob got a game versus Comp. And yeah, let's just let's just watch this entire game. So he, I think he gets up a T spike. Oh, he scalds turn one. Yeah, he gets up a T spike. Just that way, his Greninja doesn't get walled by the Reuni that only that is mono psychic move. Psychic slash psychic. I still I'm still not sure. So as the explosion, Landris gets put to bed. So this is Rocky Helmet Tangros. Okay, um, okay, Rocky Helmet Tangros can actually kind of check more while. But it's still not a great answer, and it's able to live a plus to explosion. Yeah, like I was just talking about this. This team is kind of weak to mobile, but um, Helmet Tangros can help at least with the mobile matchup. Does he go for hidden power fire? And his comp SD is predicting him to switch out, I think. So Helmet plus poison is gonna bring this pincer super low. Tita into land risk, um, predicting earthquake. But it's facade pincer savage. Okay, I'm pretty sure the, the last move was thrash. He showed it earlier, so it doesn't have earthquake. So this, I think it's SD Kartana, but I'm not sure, because I don't think it's, oh, that's not Bandit damage, is it? If that's Bandit Reunix, this is actually a godly bulky. I don't think it's Bandit. I, th I thought it wasn't Scarf either, but maybe I'm mixing stuff up. But yeah, Reunix uh, dies to that, because it only had one CM up, and Spex Greninja is strong. I wasn't sure if it would die, but I was sure that it would do more than 50%. I was thinking it would do like 58. So Rob just loses this one in forwards. Oh, then this is gonna be rough. He just gets pushed, he just get back down to 1924. Did anything change in the top 10? Okay, this game was fun to watch. Uh, I recorded like some games that were kind of boring to watch, so I will have to edit a lot later. And my computer is garbage. So rendering is gonna take hours. So I'm not sure when you guys will like, can expect this video. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, honestly, I, I'm I'm just gonna end it right here because I can't really I can't find high games that I think that are interesting. The only high game I could find is Dead or Tornadoes. Yeah, cool, really fun. Um, this game is gonna take a minute. But yeah, if you if you guys like this type of video, just let me know and I can do this again more often. Uh, I mean, especially for the deadline tomorrow, it's gonna be interesting. But yeah, if you just want lives where I play, I can also obviously do that. Like I said, there's gonna be a screenshot um, with like five, six teams where you can vote in the comments or on Twitter. You can either vote with the number of the team or with the name, I guess. And what's it called? Yeah, I mean, exactly, because my computer is so garbage, I'm going to have to render this now. Uh, so, like, if I make it even longer, it's going to take longer to re render even. Like, on, if it's, I assume, like, this is 58 minutes on my screen, but there were, like, a few games that were super boring. So, I will cut something out, and I assume it might end up being, like, a 40-minute video. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a fantastic day. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Dogwitch signing out.